Hello everyone. As we know, with the country under a 21 day lockdown, schools and colleges are now closed. I know students now have no other option but to spend their time at home. From a power pack schedule, they now spend most of their time in front of the television. Students are at a stage when they constantly should be learning something new and keeping themselves engaged in productive activities. I might seem that it is hard to find something to do at home. However, here is a list of few things students can append their time doing without stepping out of their homes. Like yoga, give some time for your hobbies, spend quality time with your family, play some old games like Ludo and Carom, attend virtual classes, watch online lectures available on your school websites, complete assignments and worksheets provided by your subject teachers. Today, I'm here to teach you class 6 making presentation. This is the first chapter that uh, you will study for periodic test 1. Okay, so let's start. What will be the learning outcomes at the end of this session? If you see the session that few things you will understand mainly the planning presentation, executing the presentation and final outcome of the presentation that is presenting how to present it so before we'll start the presentation we must understand what is the need of electronic presentation electronic presentation helps us to give pictorial or visual presentation of what you are saying it can be used to give important information in a best way Instead of manual presentation, it is best for explaining complex ideas through diagrams, tables, etc. Making presentation, we already have a lot of information on how to use computers. Many applications we have already used. Applications which are available for creating presentations are that is impress key presenter or powerpoint the most usable and famous application creating presentation is not just about opening the application and start typing the content it requires some initial work in terms of thinking and planning this can be done on a paper to avoid getting distracted by the features of that application making presentation few things that I, I already told you it involves three main stages first is plan second is execute and third one is impress what is that plan decide and outline for the presentation execute create the slides impress verify the content add visual effects and practice it how to present it Presentations are used by students and people in many professions to convey their ideas. Individual pages of presentations are known as slides. Slides can contain text, images, charts, graphs, tables, audios and videos. Some of the presentation file extensions are .pptx for PowerPoint, .odp for Impress and .key for Keynote. Now we will understand in detail what is that the first stage plan this is just gathering the information for the given topic and choose an appropriate title for the presentation go through the information that you have collected group related information and list the main points you want to present for each point list prepare its sub lists also What is that stage 2? 
open a presentation application and create a new presentation. Title of the outline becomes the title of the presentation. Create a new slide for each main point in the outline. Add list of subpoints for the respective main points. Now we can save the presentation file created by giving a file name. Few important guidelines for creating the slides are each slide should have title, each slide should ideally have not more than five subpoints. The reason is ideally a slide with five subpoints takes two minutes to explain it while presenting it. Avoid writing paragraphs or information in the slide. Instead, write crisp points. If the time allotted for the presentation is known, create the slides appropriately. For example, 20 minutes of presentation time, you should create around 10 slides only. Make sure that the images graphs used in the slides are not distracting. Be aware of copyright issues while using content from various resources. And what is that third stage that is impressed? The first one is verify content by doing the following. Check if order of slides has a logical flow and also if subpoints are correctly placed or not. Check if information is accurate, adequate and follows aware rules. Check for content spelling and grammar. Second is add visual effects by doing the following. Ensure font type, font size are easy to read and alignment is also uniform. Use colors to highlight important points. Add animation, slight transition effects wherever appropriate. What is that aware? A stands for Awareness about copyright, W stands for watch for CC, creative common license. A again is acknowledge source of information, R is reject plagiarism, E is explain in your own words. Adding animation to the presentation, you can follow these steps. You can go to the animation tab, you will find the custom animation tools. Then you can uh, click on the add effects. You can pick uh, your choice of the effects. Okay, before that, you must select the object. It can be the text or the images or the clip arts, anything. Third and final stage again is the impress. So, what will be the last that is the practicing by giving a mock presentation? Check if the number of slides can be comfortably covered within given time, reorder if required, boost your confidence level to face the audience but practice in front of friends, speak clearly and make eye contact with the audience. Do not just read out the slide but explain the points also. Last but not the least, how to run your presentation. You can press the F5 key from the keyboard or you can go to the status bar and find the slideshow option. Okay. So by doing this, your presentation will start. Few things I have written here is that if you have desktop computer or laptop, kindly practice the example given in your book in the chapter of making presentation. Complete the worksheet answers in a notebook. Thank you. All the best.